This week-long residency begins with a brief introduction to Chuck Close, a man who became a great artist while overcoming many obstacles throughout his life. His story will help the students realize that they too can overcome anything on their way to success. As a young artist, Chuck Close learned to use a grid to create very large photorealistic portraits. We teach the students to use his grid technique to create their own wonderful larger-than-life self-portraits. The students begin by creating a group project. They are each given a three inch square piece of a picture and shown how to use a grid to transfer that information to an eight and a half inch square. All their large pieces will fit together to make a four foot by four foot finished mosaic of a well-known person. They don't know whom they're working on until the pieces are put together. Using this technique, they'll learn to see what's actually there rather than what they think might be. This helps them develop their drawing skills while being immersed in the language of art. We discuss value, shape, hue, tint, and tone, and also review the color wheel and how it's used to blend neutral and neutralized colors. This warm-up exercise gives them the opportunity to practice the techniques they will use in creating their own larger-than-life portraits. There are many life lessons involved with this experience. Working with the grid helps the students understand that if they have a big task, they can get the job done by breaking it down into smaller pieces. The group project demonstrates they must always do their best because what they do affects the entire community. In this case, their finished mosaic represents the community. And of course, if we all work together, look at the beautiful things we can create. The first day, while they're participating in this warm-up exercise, we take a photo of each student. That evening, we clean up the photos and resize them to 5 by 7 inches. The students will use these photos to create their 20 by 28 inch larger-than-life finished portraits. Usually, they start work on their portraits the second day and finish them by the end of the week. My favorite part is the aha moment when a student begins to realize that their portrait really does look like them. Music is my life's career. I have 50 sets of worn out tires and a Grammy award to show for it, but art is my life's passion. I've been teaching portraiture to young people for about 15 years and I've finally found a way to connect these parts of my life and work. A perfect way to end the week is by combining the visual and performing arts with a gala exhibit and concert event. The students' artwork is usually displayed in the auditorium lobby, giving the entire community the opportunity to admire their hard work and celebrate the accomplishments of the students. This arts-focused concert reinforces the lessons they have learned throughout the week while highlighting the many ways cultural arts enhance lives and strengthen our communities. This is the time to invite Board of Education members, City Council members, state and local politicians, as well as TV and newspaper personnel. Let's face it, athletes get a lot of attention in our schools. This is a perfect opportunity to shine the light on our art students.